everybody. I'm Cerebral and this is Cerebral Talks TV. We spoke about Cam Newton not too long ago. He has a very viral interview with Dr. Cheyenne Bryant where they were discussing black men creating a lot of broken homes. Uh, a lot of celebrity black men, you know, Nick Cannon, for example, and Cam Newton, one of many. And this happens with poor black men, middle-class black men, wealthy black men. And Cam Newton got offended, you know. He said, I, I haven't created any broken homes. And many people would definitely disagree. Now, on the left is a picture of him with his ex-baby mama, Kia Proctor. They have five children together. And on the right is Jasmine Brown. And they recently, well, they had a baby a few months ago or last year. And she's been criticized a lot because she says she enjoys serving him and, you know, being his healer and doing whatever he asks. And he has not gotten married to any of these women. In fact, he said he's still open to looking for a wife. And a lot of people felt that that was very insulting because these women were good enough to have children by, but not good enough to marry. Okay, now he has maybe another baby mama or four, but Kia on the left is one is one of the most famous ones. You know, she had five kids by this man and she broke up with him when he made another baby with another woman. Now he's with Jasmine. And this guy, look, I made a video a few short years ago when he was with Kia. And I said in the video, he was not going to marry her. I'm not sure if that video is still up anymore. It's an older video. I didn't want to have to say it, but I called it because I see the pattern with a lot of them. And unfortunately, I was right and he didn't. And he's going from woman to woman who he's dating, who he, he, who he likes, and he's sleeping with them because that's what most people do in relationships. And they're ending up pregnant and he's not trying to settle down. He's not looking, really looking for a wife, in my opinion. So now Kia has come out and said a few things. How, what happened? What happened? Her having all those kids by him and leaving him. I'm just going to be quiet. Look at what Kia said about what happened with their relationship. So after Chosen, which he was born in 2015, I had four more kids. No, I'm sorry. I had three more kids after him because it's a total of five. So it would be Shakira, Chosen. And then once I started with Chosen, it's Stair Steps. So it was every year I was pregnant for four years straight. So I have Chosen, Sovereign Dior, Comitis, and then Cashmere. So yes, it's a total of five. Uh, looking back at it, I say, I, I don't know how I did it, but hey, I love all my kids. And yes, I, I definitely did that. But I was pregnant for four years straight. Yes, which is kind of crazy, but. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to focus on my career and get something going for myself. And then I ended up pregnant with Kashmir. And then that's when I went through a public breakup. And I, and that was that. And then me and my um, partner, we separated. So I'm a single mom of five. Five kids later, people always ask, so oh, why are you, like what happened with your marriage? Or like, why are you not in a relationship? And I always say I was never married, but the relationship, I thought it was going towards marriage. And then my partner at the time had an outside baby. And he kind of wanted to force it on me. And I w wasn't really ready to, I mean, I don't really know how to describe this or talk about this. I just, he had a baby outside of our relationship that I was not okay with. And we were not married. So I'm like, if I'm not about to deal with this because I thought this, what we had was something way more special than the way you're treating it. And I felt like I had no choice but to leave. I had to choose me and my kids over what he was about to put me through. So, so here we are. I think the kids are great. Like they're in a great space. I try to, I mean, I don't know. I just 
try to make sure that they don't go without and that they're good mentally. And we have a great co-parenting schedule. Like we do good with co-parenting. I feel like I feel like we do the best we can and we make it work. We make it, we make it work for the kids. It has definitely been a work in progress. And I feel like it should get better with time. Just give it time. I feel like everything always gets better with time. You know, as long as the parents are good in a good place, then the kids will be good. So as long as they see a healthy relationship, I feel like that's the best thing you can do. Because the co-parenting schedule, we do week on and week off. We switch every Sunday. It's like I have that week, that free week to myself where I can focus on what Kia wants to do and create all of these things for Kia. Like I started a beauty line, I started this YouTube channel and I have so many more projects that I'm working on and I have the I have the time to actually do these things. I'm just so excited and I don't like, I feel like nothing's gonna hold me back now because I'm finally at a good place in my life. I did a lot of healing, my kids are older Kashmir will be five in the end of September. So I'm just excited for me and everything that I have to come. Okay, so you heard what she said, but I'm going to say something that has been said before. You see this going on a lot with many black women and it irritates me because so many pride yourself on being very educated. But when it comes to men and basic things with men, Look at what, what we're seeing. We see this a lot. A lot of these women, I'm sorry, after five children, it's like a lot of black women just do things backwards when it comes to these men. If you know you want to get married, he should know that. And if he's wasting your time, move on, okay? Lord, let me get my thoughts straight. It's just, my goodness gracious, my goodness gracious. Look, I know that mistakes happen. And I know some people don't want to say having my kids was a mistake. The reality, you're dating a man, you have SEX with him, you stand a chance to get pregnant. Things can break and not everyone wants birth control. If you are move, if you move in with a man, Y'all are going to be sleeping with each other and there is a high probability of pregnancy happening many times. It's not rocket science, okay? Now, are there women who don't mind being pregnant by him, an NFL player? He can afford to take care of his kids versus a lot of other men who, who don't have any money to provide for you, okay? So there are women who don't mind, like Jasmine doesn't mind, the arrangement or whatever they got going on with their relationship. But she said that she thought that marriage would come. This is why I said a few years ago that he wasn't going to, because this plays out all the time. Once you start having kids with these men, a lot of them don't feel the need to marry you anymore. They're like, she cooks, she cleans, she lives with me. Now she has my baby. Why do I have to commit? Why? She's already done everything. We're practically married anyway. Or they think, well, I don't want to commit to her. And then if we split, she gets half or I am under the law, the contract, I have to do something for her. Or it's just, we see this all the time with the number of them. OK, over and over and over again, a lot of these men do not get married and it's up to the women now. It's up to black women. It's up to y'all. You don't want to hear it, but it is. You have to make a choice. Now, if you are OK with not getting married, that is different. But if you know in your heart you want to get married and you told that man y'all have discussed it. I don't know. But then again, y'all are having S-E-X. And he might say, you know, I'm a marry you. You know, I love you. Y'all have an S-E-X. Y'all still boyfriend and girlfriend. You end up pregnant. And then y'all start having problems. And then he's like, you know what? Well, we're not married. I don't have to. And I'm going to walk out on this. That happens all the time. So look, I'm going to read some of the comments that was posted on um, the shade room from this video. Okay, someone said, I heard her loud and clear. She believed her relationship would lead to marriage like many women. That's why she had that man's babies. I'm sorry, 
y'all stop with this. There's the, you know how it goes. First come marriage, then the baby carriage. First lo comes love, then comes marriage. Then comes the baby in the baby carriage. Y'all have seen this happen way too much to stop, to start acting like you don't have any sense. Since when has having a black man's baby made him marry? For the over the past few decades, it hasn't. Y'all know this. She, ne if he wanted to marry you, he would have did it. He would have did it before the babies came and he would have did it after the first or second one. Stop. That's why she had that man's baby. She never said he even proposed. The sad thing is a lot of women out here that would have believed the same thing because of the background he comes from. His parents are married. That doesn't always mean he will. How reality only hit when he cheated and made another child and tried to force the child on her. This further proves what the doctor said was correct. He moves with intent. Cam and his top hat full of locks are sick. <laughs> Keeping your girl pregnant every year for four years straight with no intentions of marrying her is some absurd behavior. Understand something, it takes two to make a baby. He didn't just make her pregnant every year. She opened them legs to him too and let him do what he did and kept having those babies. Okay? I'm not saying she's wrong for in her heart thinking maybe he'll marry me, but I'm going to need some of you to stop the BS, okay? Men need birth control. That ain't gonna never probably happen though. Living in the potential will always be our downfall. It sounds like so much is so much hurt in her voice. I'm sure she's hurt. I would be hurt knowing I have popped out five children for you. And I'm still not good enough to be your wife. Yeah, I would be salty about it. I would after the first or second. Okay. Keeping her pregnant every year, then springing an outside baby on her is nasty work. He knew that would break her and used her hurt to avoid marrying her. Cold. No, I don't think so on that. I don't think he did it to hurt her. I think he was just hopping from woman to woman like many of them do and having SCX with them because that's what they do. Just like she was having XCX with him, he has sperm and she has eggs. And I guarantee that baby was not planned because majority of the time it never is. Okay, letting a boyfriend give you all them kids is crazy. Women have to stop doing this. This may have worked in our grandparents' generation, but having kids first is no longer a way to get a man to marry you. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to have to get pregnant to make you marry me. I want you to marry me because you love me. I want you to marry me because you know I'm the love of your life and you have chosen me. That's what I want, not desperation and let me get pregnant, okay? He thought you had all them kids um, was and you were going to stick beside him. The ultimate betrayal. Not that she thought he would marry her, but the simple fact she had five of his seeds and he never thought for a second she was even worth a lifetime of commitment of marriage. How selfish of him. This is not going to stop for black women. Y'all keep giving it to them, to the black man, especially very easy. They're not going to correct. They're not going to stop being trifling because y'all keep accepting it. Y'all keep accepting it. And it's going to continue. I'm sorry to tell you this. Okay. And I understand you're dating a man. Eventually y'all usually going to end up doing it. A good portion of the time. I know in other countries they're stricter and they get married before they do it. Even forced by the families or whatever. But in America we know what it is. So some changes are going to have to be made if y'all want this to stop. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. All right, that was okay. That baby was not an outside baby. It's the same as your kids, mom and dad, unmarried. You didn't have an upper hand. So she's saying, well, you weren't married to him so he could be with other women. They were in a committed relationship though, but it wasn't an official marriage. But I'm sure she was committed to him and only sleeping with him. And he decided to, well, not do the same for her. 
Very sad. I applaud her strength, but I will say this whole narrative of having kids before marriage is trash. Even if the marriage doesn't work, at least um, he is held for far more accountable for being a husband than just a baby daddy. Now um, he doesn't he don't move on and still having more kids not committing to anyone and this crap is happening to the black community and people will still get on here and argue that what i said ain't right other races don't intentionally create separate homes but we do sad now i somewhat agree other groups have more structure more dignity more honor more discipline a little bit now i'm not saying that other groups of men don't have multiple kids and other families that does happen but it's not as extreme i don't think they honor getting married and and having the kids with the home and stuff a, a lot more than what we see in the black american community you know and in other communities they're not about to um, have their girls having uh, all these kids all over the place, especially by different men. Okay. And, and a no, no, absolutely not. I mean, it can happen and it does happen sometimes, but you get shunned, you get shamed and the family, the honor and all that stuff. I want to know from Cam what molded him into the man he has become because his parents are married. And this shows you that just because you have married parents, doesn't mean that the men always come out great all the time. Like, did you not see a healthy relationship? Because it doesn't make sense. He wants kids, but not commitment to the mother of his children. He's one of millions, unfortunately. It's sad for the women, because dating is different after you have five kids. For men, their dating life and their chances to find a new partner is easier. Yep, you do. Especially if she's only going to stick to dating in the black community where these men trash single mothers all day, every day. Now, she does have children with the same man, which is a great thing, but they still will look down on women. You know, like you had all those kids or they think, well, you don't have any value. Clearly something was wrong. He still didn't marry you. They do that. They're very judgmental. Okay. Why would you think after your fourth child, you were headed towards marriage? If he wanted to marry you, he would have done it before the first one. Very true. And the last comment says, let me zoom in on this. It says, I don't care what anyone says about marriage, not meaning anything. It's just a piece of paper, etc. At the end of the day, marriage is a legal arrangement. Yes, people still cheat and do whatever they want to do uh, to end their marriage. But in cases like this, he wasted her time for how many years? willingly had babies with her and then decided he wanted to do other things she moved on but has no rights she gets nothing outside of her children of course hopefully support but i'm gonna need a, a need half of everything acquired during our marriage and spousal support for my trouble this is a truly sad situation and this is how many men want it many men do not want to help and give money to the women who risked their lives having their vagina busted open to bring his seeds and his legacy into the world. The woman's raising five damn kids. That's not easy and it takes money. Now, I believe he is helping her. And from what I saw, she's trying to get more money for help with the children. She, this is how, this is why a lot of men don't want to get married because, hey, I can impregnate you, you cook and clean. And if I walk away, I don't have to give you a damn thing. So it works out great for me. So that's why a number of them promote that a lot. That's why I said, if you agree not to be married, I still think there needs to be some sort of contract in place. Because you can do that. You can get a contract up. I, I get this much allowance uh, for life. My kids, they got a will, they got to trust everything. Okay, it, work out something so that is it that is it i want to hear what you think about this situation like i said before there will always be plenty of women who don't mind getting pregnant by cam who are fine with being a baby mama as long as he provides for her and them kids but sometimes that only lasts until them kids turn 18 and then you're not getting anything anymore a lot of times unless again y'all have some sort of contract or something but um I don't know. I have a feeling he's going to have some more kids with other women. I do. And 
This is happening to women married to these men in sports and your everyday woman, nine to five jobs. And the men keep saying that it's up to the women. They're not going to stop being dogs. They're not going to turn down Punani. They're not doing it. And you can get pregnant if you're having XCX with him. That's just a fact. And if y'all are tired of popping out all these babies, and him not feeling that you're good enough to marry, stop getting pregnant by them. Okay, there are different ways for that not to happen. Either gonna stop it or it's just gonna continue. It's up to y'all at this point because this is actually just getting damn ridiculous. It's been ridiculous. And uh, the black woman has to get her honor back and her dignity and your reputation and sh um, in order everything because I know the men are out of control too, but um, that's the most I can say to this situation. I hope everything works out for Kia and she's able to, to have her life get back together and her kids are still happy and he takes care of them kids and helps her too. And Jasmine seems to be happy still with what they got going on. Even though he humiliated her in my opinion saying I'm still looking for a wife, I think maybe she thought he would marry her. So we shall see. I guarantee you he might have another baby in the, in the very near future with another woman. I'm sorry to say it. Leave your comments below on what you think about this whole thing. Bye, everyone. And thank you again. If you decide to subscribe, please hit the bell and click all notifications so you know I'm live. And when I upload, you all take care. Bye, everyone.